Hey guys, I will admit I could have done a better job laying out the information uh, instead of getting very emotional about it. I could have just laid out the facts and and let you make the decision. After all, you guys are adults, most of you, and you can use your own logic to conclude. Maybe your conclusion is different from mine. I do want to start off by saying. Cecilia de Anastasia is a award-winning writer. She is a award-winning journalist. Kotaka reporter Cecilia was the recipient of the Writers Guild of America's award in digital news for her article "Inside the Culture of Sex- Sexism at Riot Games," which exposed a toxic sexist culture at the studio going back years. She interviewed 28 current and former Riot Game employees who came forward with alarming stories of the studio's bro culture. Riot Games is the company that makes League of Legends, and it is a amazing article that she wrote. This isn't a nobody. This is someone who is as close to an expert. And what Owen is being accused of. This is someone who vets her sources, who makes sure that the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. I don't believe that she would do. She would destroy someone's life like Owen without seeing screenshots, which she mentions, and just because we don't see it. Doesn't mean that Cecilia hasn't seen it. So those are the facts. I wanted to clear up any of this、uh, baseless accusation. We will find out soon. The other fact is Owen has not responded.、Uh, this person tweets a lot. Owen tweets a lot. You can go on his Twitter feed. He tweets a few times a day. Uh, he's tweeted many times in an aggressive mob mentality manner. Many of you are accusing me of mob mentality on Owen. My point is, if you create a culture which Magic the Gathering is, there's no judge, there's no jury. It's just accusations. In my opinion, Unsleeve Media should not have been banned for life. People accused him of things. That I don't feel like he has, he did, and he would ban for life. Jesse James or Jesse, do your homework on that one. He paid his debt to society, and he's banned until two thousand and forty-nine. Todd Stevens, I almost completely forgot about him. Again, harassment of women. He's banned now. Travis Wu, moderator of a meme, very little evidence on him. So if the standard is a whisper, a rumor, can get you banned for life, then that standard should be applied to everybody. Now, who made that standard? I ask you. How do we get to this point where people are being banned for life or having pro tours like Travis Wu's pro tour was taken away, even though he didn't comment, he didn't like, and in all fairness, I believe him. But they took away his pro tour. What makes it different for Owen, besides the fact that he's heavily protected by Reed Duke, Huey? And others who are currently making a lot of money from this game. Do you know where they're getting the money from? It's from the player base. Do you know why Wizard of Coast is so embarrassed of its own professional Magic players, and they're constantly hiring Hearthstone players to stream the game? This is why. So, when. Someone goes on League of Legends. When someone goes on Hearthstone, they are vetted by the community. The community goes and they vets them because exactly what happened to MTG Mayfair 
is what would happen to a League of Legend person. Um, one very good example of this would be Dardock. Many people are not fans of him given the toxic behavior, the documentaries people have seen and produced content with celebrities in esports and they kind of know who's who and who says bad stuff and who acts and behaves poorly. And Magic, we don't know how people act and behave past of just playing Magic. You don't know who these people are. You don't know if they're good people, bad people. You don't know if they buy uncut. You don't know, like Wedge, if he's bidding on a charity stream using his Patreon money for a uncut sheet of Mythics. What happens to that uncut sheet of Mythics? You don't know. Supposedly, it goes to a charity, but I find that odd that you would buy something from a charity to auction at your charity. That seems like a chicken or egg type of deal. But was it ever auctioned? Were the Mythic box editions ever auctioned that he told all his subscribers to go buy for him? Was that ever given away for charity? People don't ask these questions because they don't want to know. But our community... Our community, including Reddit, especially Reddit, and that is why I'm going to post. They have turned against Owen. And once they turn against you, there is no going back. Owen will forever, his profile on MTG Wiki has now been changed. I urge you to go look at it. The number one post for his entire life will be this Kotaku article. Many of you will claim the, the writer is destroying his life. The writer is putting her name out there. The writer has a, won an award for exposing Riot Games, League of Legends, the biggest esport for sexism. And you know what? She was right. Riot Games changed. They admitted they were wrong, and then they took steps to make it a better work environment. That's very brave. It is very brave to stick your neck out there, and many of you... I don't want to say this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Creating content is not easy. You put your neck out there, and people don't like me. I know this because... When the content, this is a going to be an 18 minute plus video. At about one minute, I'll get 10 dislikes on this video. Just watch, I guarantee you. They haven't even gotten to the eight minute mark. There are plenty of people who don't agree with me, and there are plenty of people who don't understand what magic was like when I was younger. Magic was a gathering, it's not donate me money it's not i'm going to steal your cards it's not i'm going to cheat you it's not predatory behavior none of this stuff existed when i played magic when i was younger and many of you will say oh well it probably existed you just didn't know better because there wasn't social media and the internet there wasn't cell phones and maybe you're right and maybe i am looking at it from rose tinted glasses but at the same time why can't it be that why do we have to deal with the todd stevens and the owens and why are we promoting these people it seems like there's so many other great individuals that we could be promoting there's one podcaster i really enjoy uh, he's not a big podcaster but he is consistent and i don't want to drag his name because i'm sure he doesn't actually enjoy my content but i do enjoy his content and he would be excellent he's a father um, when there was a medical emergency he used his own money he used savings and his own it must have cost quite a bit but he didn't beg for money he used his own money why can't he be a hero why is wedge the hero in the story the same goes for a lot of smaller content creators. A lot of them just beg and beg for Tolarian Community College to give them a shout out or a like. 
You have to be stronger than this. The reason the community... Owen should not be surprised that the community, especially in Reddit, turned against him. He's the one who made this community where you can accuse someone of something and that's the end of you. That's the end. You're just a moderator of a Facebook group gone wrong and you didn't even see the post and now you're banned and your pro tour dream is gone. Your tweets from many years ago. Think about what happened to MTG Mayfer. Tweets from many years ago were used against her and it got her removed from the Mythic Invitation. Same with Jeff Huglan. Things that Jeff Huglan has said and done in the past have been used against him. Can you remember someone else who's been banned from life who has his Twitter account dissected and just grinded and then every little bad thing he's ever said is now being used against him and now he's being now a Kotaku article has been published and now he's banned for life. This is the system that Owen, Huey, Jensen, do you know the Peach Brother Oath? Google it. It says specifically in it to protect the weak. It's more than playing magic. They made a oath to each other to uphold the highest ethical standards. To be above reproach. And now look at them. When people make promises they cannot deliver, those are the worst type of people. Because they give you hope and they take it away. <laughs> but it's false hope. There was never a chance of that. Imagine free magic players, all white males by the way. I don't know if Huey he would be a white male, but I guess a Latino male. I'm not positive. Um, I know he lives in Brazil. And they make an oath to better magic, to better the community, to look out for the small guys, to look out for nerds. And one of them goes on a rampage because someone drafted a foil Tamagoyf. And now Owen is calling him the worst player in life. And you know who joins? Reed Duke. I urged you to do your homework on these characters. Google them. They've been part of the magic scene for a long time. They have done things that I wouldn't have I would not have done. So let's get back to the facts. Reddit has turned on Owen. And when Reddit turns on you. You're not going to get any more upvotes. You're not going to get any positive discussion on you. You're done on Reddit. And when Kontaku writes an article about you, whether or not you believe there's enough information, whether it doesn't matter. That is my point. It doesn't matter. Now, you have to give the writer credit. The writer who wrote this article isn't a random writer. It's a writer who specifically won the award for talking about this topic in a much bigger, bigger platform, which is League of Legends. It's an amazing article, well-researched, well-documented, well-credited. So I would ask you to read that article and then make a decision on why she wrote this one. So, let's conclude this by saying, regardless of if Owen is innocent or not, the community that he has built up, the, pro, that the community the Magic Pro scene has built up, you can look at somebody's tweets and they've said something bad, even if they're a changed person today, gone. MTG Mayfair is gone because for Wizards of the Coast, it's easier just to get rid of someone. Well, let's put Caleb. All right. Did someone check Caleb's tweets? Okay. He's clean. Or at least he did, tried to delete the ones that were not, you know, were not appropriate. That's the same tactic they used on Unsleeved Media. That, the screenshot tactic is the same one they used on 
Magic for Worse, and they banned dozens of people, I think, including Travis. What if you sent a text message to a female and it wasn't, you know, the, maybe you thought it was a joke, it was a bro joke, but it was not, it was con- consumed a different way and then and there's a different opinion from the person who received it? Well, that's how they got Todd Stevens. He's banned. What if you did something in the past and you paid your time to society? Well, that's what happened to the guy who went to University of Richmond Law School. He's, a, he's, been, he's banned until 2049. You can get banned for memes. You can get banned for disagreeing. Uh, you can get banned for a hot or not post. You can be banned for criticizing Admiral Beckett. I think one person was banned for like that. Uh, maybe that was Unsleeved Media. I remember watching a video of uh, why Admiral Beckett isn't like this attractive, hot, young female pirate. Like in, um, for interest, Fate Grand Order, we would have uh, Francis Drake. We would have Drake. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't know Fate Grand Order, Drake, I would just Google it. I think you would enjoy it. Why do we have like a grandmother pirate? I mean, do people really live that long if they're pirates? You know, is that Pirates of the Caribbean type of? You know. But let me conclude by saying this. My favorite saying in life is you reap what you sow. If you sow the ability to criticize other people like Owen has done in the past, Goifgate, and that was my point. I wanted people to connect Goifgate with this, where the mob mentality and the you're not good enough to be a pro, no pro player would ever do this, and, well, that has reversed itself, hasn't it, Owen? In a ironic turn of events, the mob on Reddit is after you now. They no longer love you. And you will never get their love back again. Now, Reed and Huey, that's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm going to be very intrigued to follow and see what they knew. Uh, you don't make a oath to uphold justice without some, and this happens, and not give a statement as to do you still believe would you rather have your oath or would you rather support the person who made the oath anyway to conclude it has been very interesting and i am all i'm really into this uh, as you guys might know Um, i can't wait to see the actual facts Um, there are screenshots uh, that have been presented to the writer and kotaku and I'm sure that uh, they will be made live soon. Uh, a lot of people, a good example of this is uh, Frank. Um, when the Reddit was posted the first time, a lot of people could never imagine that Frank would do something like that. And then the screenshots of the text messages came. And then a lot of the females Frank was uh, attracting, if you will, um, they all said it was the same message. And they came out too. But uh, the initial post was from the boyfriend of a teenage, of his, he had a girlfriend, they were both teenagers, and that was the initial message, that were, those were the initial screenshots. One day, Frank was texting her, and maybe they had an iPhone or something, and then he saw messages, and obviously, this is his girlfriend that he spent many, many years, I think, since they were in middle school together. Who is this guy? Well, it turned out to be a famous professional magic player in the most powerful magic couple in the history of our game with Melissa, who still now works for Wizards of the Coast. But Frank is, no, he's not going to get invited to a mythic invitation anytime soon, I would, I would hope. Anyway, bye guys.